So Driven Empire just released the new limited right here and everyone is trying to get it that the game is lagging. You can see it's called the 2012 Vision Helios Enraged and it's another version of the car that's released today and it looks absolutely sick. You guys told me in the comments earlier today that this is supposed to be the gun part Apollo Enraged I believe. I've never seen this car in real life but it does exist and it looks sick. You can even see the air intake on top of the car right now it looks kind of like an f1 car and the stats of this car is kind of okay the top speed is 365 kilometers per hour which is decent the acceleration 2.8 seconds and the handling is 81 percent which is quite good but the price of the car is 2.8 million which is quite expensive for the stats that the car has so in terms of value for upgrades or for stats it doesn't have quite the value but it's kind of a limit car so it does have value in terms of being a rare and you can see it in different colors how it looks oh my god this is such a race car driving this car is kind of scary there's already 10,000 of these sold as well by the way before we get into the races I know a lot of you guys who are watching these videos are new to this channel so if you hit that subscribe button it does mean a lot and it helps me out but here is the car a big thank you to this guy right here for lending me his car because I'm still somewhat broke in the game and look at this car i mean first of all just the looks no speed no nothing and the engine sound oh my god the engine sound is actually insane I don't know if you guys heard that, but that engine sound is insane. This car is maxed out and we're gonna be doing the drag race first to see how it does. It's gonna be going against my McLaren that I bought. This is the new limited McLaren. I bought it and made it orange to be similar to the actual McLarens that the F1 drivers have. But honestly, the engine sound alone should be enough to scare someone from racing against me. Let's see. Oh, it has slow acceleration. It might not be a good car for the drag race what do we do a 754 that's actually not quite a great time in the new limited mclaren i think i did a seven second flat so this car is slower in the drag race before we do the highway race i want to see oh my god the engine look at this engine bay is this the suspension the suspension goes above the engine this is the radiator this is actually insane i don't think i can open the front but this is an insane engine now for the highway race this is where I have high hopes for this car I believe it has better top speed than the McLaren so I'm hoping for like a maybe 31 second race we will see there you go just get a good launch the other car has better acceleration but this car should have better top speed we're topping out ar around that 420 kilometers per hour and when we use the boost we reach 500 kilometers per hour which is insane and this should get us maybe Maybe a 30 second race time in the highway race. Okay, we're on the final straight. Let's see, what time are we gonna do? Oh, it's a 32.5. Not bad, but it's not really great. 32.5, I don't think that's gonna help you win many races if there are tryhards in your server. Now, the circuit race is really gonna be the biggest test of this car because it has 81% handling. So if you do buy this car, you're probably gonna be buying it for the handling. So it's better do good in this race or else it's not gonna be worth it okay we don't get the greatest launch the mclaren has a great launch right there but let's see how is the handling oh my god the downforce the handling is very good i hit the wall there because i'm trying to go too fast but i think this car has amazing handling it feels very nice through the corners like it feels fast but it also feels like steady you know unlike the mclaren the mclaren was super understeer and it locks up through every corner but this car doesn't lock up it's quick but it's composed as well and once you figure out the breaking points oh my goodness you're gonna be op we're dominating this race right now and as long as we don't make mistakes we're gonna be winning this race by an insane gap oh my god what lap time are we gonna about to set no oh my god i just spun no 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 no! i just hit one of the walls and spun around that was a one minute 30 second lap time and i think we can definitely improve for the second lap this car is so fast that i don't even need to use my boost most of the time we're getting very close to the end right now 
And the race just ended. I believe the servers are getting shut down. We were on track of setting like a 180 second race time right there. But I honestly think this car can get like a 170 race time. By the way, before we do this cross country race, my new limited merch is out right now. You can buy it for a limited time. It's gonna go off sale on Monday at 12 p.m. BST. So if you wanna get it, this is what the shirt looks like and I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description. But now for one of the hardest races in the game the cross country race or at least it's the hardest one of, for me but i think this car is gonna do the best on this track because it needs top speed and handling and this car has both we get a decent launch right there it says we're p2 now it says we're p1 and there you go through turn one that was very good like after driving for the mclaren the entire day i got used to locking up at every corner i mean i just crashed right there but that was just a driver mistake Mistake. but yeah this car very nice through the corners i don't know if it's better than some of the expensive cars because i haven't driven them but so it's honestly one of the best cars i've driven in this game there you go we take p1 once again it's raining so i can barely see anything as well i can't even see my car by the way do you guys break for the jump in the cross country race i always break for the jump so i don't go like too far away from the checkpoints but let me know if you break or not i'm not sure if i lose time because i break and now we're on the very long straight this is all about top speed i'm gonna let my boost recharge a little before i use it again so we can reach higher speeds this is actually a sick car i'm gonna save up money to actually buy it it costs 2.7 million which is very expensive but i'm still gonna try to get it i'm not sure how much grinding that's gonna be but it might be worth it but yeah can you guys let me know in the comments below how often do they release limited cars because i'm very very new to the game and i actually don't know so if you know let me know in the comments below i'd really appreciate it and we're getting very close to the end of this race and it looks like it's gonna be a sub 180 maybe sub three minutes no it's not gonna be sub three minutes it's gonna be like a three minute 10 which is like 200 seconds there you go we're at the end and we did a 183.2 so not sub three minutes it's a three minute three second lap time which isn't bad i made some mistakes maybe you can set a 170 if you're an insane driver in this game but this is around the time you're gonna be getting in this car but that's about it for this video if you want to see me review the new limited mclaren as well click the video that pops up on screen right now there's also a new code which you can redeem there if you're new to the channel make sure to smash that subscribe button we're trying to get 20k subs and i see you guys next time goodbye